Okay. Yeah. Welcome back to the Motor Bomb Virginia channel. I hope you like this one. Please kick back and enjoy. Peace. Yeah, I know. This is dangerous here, man. <laughs> All the uh, loose gravel and oh, yeah. crap, man. That's something you, you know. Yeah. No front brakey. No front brakey. Yeah, I forgot to damn uh, tighten up my. Uh... Yeah. It's all right. We weren't going fast enough. We we're waiting for Larry, man. <laughs> what we got on the other side? What can you tell me about the other side? Anything different? Anything good? Anything bad? Ugly? Well, not really. The horn I, I like because it's, it's aftermarket. It's just those one of the valves. Like, you know, the turn, turn it off. I'm going to hear it. I'll hear that horn. Yeah, it's Larry. 1968 HD, that's his hog. Oh, yeah, that one almost gets your attention. Try to get somebody's attention. Got mine. Yeah, it helps out here. Watch my hearing aids going working. Well, around the Hampton Roads area, you know, you got to look out for their drivers and, or the, you know, they're, they're getting in your way. Oh, where are you from? I'm originally from uh, Cambridge, Maryland. Uh, went to, went to the Army, did 22 years and a half years. And then oh, I worked. Service. For, thank you. And then I worked for the Marine Corps for 18. And I just retired a few months. Yeah, so I didn't, I wasn't plugged in that whole time because I don't know what I'm doing. I did a mile of talking. And so, yeah, we're here right in front of Dawson's. This is the place I left out when it used to be called Dawson's. It was a bar. Now it's some uh, antique place. And I pulled out right up here. And, uh, a guy come across the medium from the other side. Not here, but up here. I was in the left lane. And there used to be a crossing right here. Yeah, right here where this road is, right before I came across. That's where I got hit. Kind of interesting. You now it broke my elbow up in eight pieces put some hairline cracks like in my nasal passages and I was only doing 45 but the guy pulled right out in front of me I hit him in the passenger door post so I hit him in a nice hard solid spot of the truck those are the dangers I think I had a 74 Sportster the shifter on the right side which was kind of unique I guess today back then it was you know well, just kind of a that was weird. Okay, it's on the other side. So what? You're gonna ride. Didn't matter. And that was the other uh, Army Navy tattoo over there. I spent 12 years of my life inside that building. Tabooing. Tattooing. That's what I did. That's what I still do. Have machine will travel. Yeah, I gotta check my uh, stuff better hang I missed a lot of good footage all the parkway all the parkway is missing uh, we lost Larry back there so we're waiting no man left behind today I've left them by uh, behind in the past a few people it's cuz I ain't right sometimes oh right, Larry got a long light back there brother Larry he's a blessing man yeah we got Larry we got a, his friend and we've had an excellent time we met a guy back there where we stopped, uh, did some uh, talking and selfies. One of the first uh, places you can get off on the, the parkway there. Talked about some parkway activities from the 90s, the parkway uh, serial killer and murders, which is kind of interesting. It's not much anymore, but get ready to move over here so we can uh, get in position for Larry to turn off up here at least that's what I'm thinking hopefully he's cool with that and I'm gonna pull off and uh, see if I can talk to him before I go so yeah blue black and Doyle if you happen to end up listening to this one I should have it out hopefully well before bam like in the next week or two and uh, I'll see what's up with Larry and Take care, help take care of a little business, man. You know, that's 
that's all I'm saying. So shout out to the Blue Bike and Doyle channel. Go support the Blue Bike and Doyle channel. He's a heavy hitter in the VAM community and definitely on YouTube. Heavy. Lots of subs, lots of good content, lots of consistent content. Good dude. Dicking around in the sheds, one of his series. Yep. Don't live too extremely far from where they shot the uh, the Walking Dead, so you'll get some tears, some uh, tours of that place. And there's where I want to get off at up here. Ella Taylor, there goes our man. Man, I just wanted to get a get a hold of you and uh, before you went home tell you thank you so much for the awesome day but yeah brother thanks so much it was a good time okay yeah yeah and uh, getting some video I can't wait to see you on your own you know what I mean that's gonna yes I know that's all right uh, it was meant to be you know so yeah all right, well, I got to get back and get ready to do that live stream. Larry, man, thanks again, brother. And, uh, yeah, we'll do this again, hopefully. I might ask my son about that job. Yeah, yeah, because she's just up the road. I'll definitely pass. The what? Okay, so it'll be for the Gloucester, uh, for the county? James City County. James City, yes. Okay. So what about the Gloucester? Huh? Basically, right at the courthouse at Bellroy. Do you know where Bellroy is? Hmm? New Guineas? No. It's not the first food line on the right hand side. It's not too far outside the bridge. Yeah, well, there's a food line on the left hand side, and there's a Riverside Hospital on the right as you get up by the past Walmart. You go past the Walmart that's on the left, and then and then you got the actual Gloucester Courthouse right there. Yeah. All right, stay in touch, brother. If there's a day filming can go wrong, it'll be a day that you get up with a YouTuber and a friend that you uh, care about. There's Larry HD. See you, Larry. All right. Back home we go. Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I got both cameras going and synced up right now. <laughs> but not for our beginning of our ride. Well, maybe part of it. I guess the first stop we made down there. But everything after I got to the parkway up to here is destroyed. Mixed and matched. Sorry, I don't need a whole lot of rear camera footage. It ain't the worst. But it's nice to have your friends on the camera when they're riding behind you. They're so far behind, they look like ants anyway. You gotta put, uh, not the wide view on, you gotta put the narrow view on. And that helps out a little bit. Alright, hopefully I can keep my, uh, safe driving habit on. I like what, uh, Larry's got, man. Drive-wise, it'll make you, uh, it's like, man, I can't ride with nobody if I do that. At some point, they're going to speed. Like I'm doing 45 right now, almost 50, and I'll be in everybody's way, especially the farther I go this way. Got the big camera up there. If you're ever camera shy, you don't want to get on, you're always on a camera somewhere. Got cameras everywhere at this intersection. I seen bad accident right here too. Looked like they was cutting a lady right out of a of a car. The whole top of it was cut off, and he's just sitting there in the front seat. <laughs> Deader than a doornail, that's for sure. Sad man. Nice. I'm glad you got out in time. You know, you don't want to wait. I know I don't. We're in a hurry. In a hurry to make a left at the stoplight. 
it's hard because you get behind a whole mile of cars it's a Monday it's a business day yeah that was great uh, riding with Larry 1968 HD Larry HD 1968 so go to go to his channel 100% subscribe to his content he is from the same area but I, I live 20 minutes from him and uh, he is uh, retired and can you'll find some pretty awesome content and drone footage too I believe uh, when he uh, was able to work or still access the Newport News uh, shipbuilding area which is real fascinating and he features a lot of bikes he gives interviews people that will talk to him at car shows he does uh, car show videos as well but it's all biking content biking related and just a, 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 a great human being you know uh, my second time officially meeting him first time I met him at BAM 24 up in Tazewell and we got to ride together there but here this is we're riding in our hometown man I lived here this was my stomping grounds for 12 years this whole area there's where we were early is over there at Haas's where we pulled in the back and uh, we all met up today park your bike in the back pull up get yourself something to eat and carry your butt on out of there nice and safely it's a bar but when you're on a motorcycle don't drink and ride you have enough uh, things going against you out here on the road other than being even the slightest slighty slightiest bit, bit impaired okay have your God-given senses with you and if you don't feel those as you leave the house don't ride don't ride hop in a cage at least be careful to others don't do either if you're that bad off you know what I'm saying There's days I don't feel like I'm as, as aware in my brain that I might not take extra time like you need to no matter what vehicle you're riding but especially a motorcycle but I take the uh, the car for my own safety and I don't know why he got over in the right lane maybe he's trying to make a right too I don't know Okay, so yeah, back on the freeway. I've only lived a couple miles back off this freeway. We probably got about, who knows, 58, seven miles, five miles on here before we'll take the Mercury and the Hampton Coliseum exit. Langley Research, back over there. Thomas Nelson College right over there that's where I went and got my uh, motorcycle training for the second time so that I could uh, ride motorcycle legally that's it hop on out there get in the freeway that's what we do man Person behind me, no regard at all for the law. Just fly right by him a couple feet away where he's pulled over. I thought you're supposed to move over. There was plenty of room to do it. it wasn't like we were crowded with uh, traffic, but I just going not, you know, not complaining, just saying. That's just going to show you what uh, people will do out here. So you're riding your motorcycle. Be mindful. Be mindful all the time. Yeah, we don't want to be behind the semi. Homeboy going to lose his package, his square box. On a sport bike, and he's loaded up. I don't know how he's keeping that thing on there. I wouldn't want to ride behind him. Ah, I smell the rubber ducky. Y'all know what I mean by rubber ducky? 
I got plenty of time. <laughs> wow. I hate sneezing with the visor. You ever sneeze with the visor in front of you? Yeah, man. You, 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 you put spray all over your visor. I just thank uh, God and Jesus above. You gotta, you gotta specify. You just say the Lord. It could be the Lord of darkness. It could be the Lord of whatever. And you think the uh, correct person. Most of us know what you mean by the Lord. But there are people that actually mean the dark Lord. If you're thinking they're all uh, spiritual and whatever, and you have a different uh, belief, just pray for them and pray for yourself to have love and acceptance. But there's no correcting somebody who does not want to be corrected or informed and their experience may have told them dead otherwise. Just like there's no change in somebody's mind. Until you get a mind changer in your life. Yeah, the mind changer. Kind of like the mind flayer. Fillet it, fillet it open like a slayer. I never make the light. I know this light, and he took a red light. That's okay. He do what he want to do. I'm staying right here because we got cameras out. It says no U-turn for here. You guy saw me come around here one time, and I did a U-turn on the next uh, deal there, and he tried to call me out on my short, saying there's a U no U-turn sign. But that U-turn is for this intersection, not for the left-hand turn lane where you see that guy turning right now and the motorcycle coming at us. And you can do a turn into Hardy's there, or you can do a U-turn and come back this way. Yeah, but you make a short. That guy pulled out in front of me uh, after I came back, like I said, this way. Not here, but when I was back there. And said, this way. And it's coming in front of the Hardee's and that 7-Eleven there. Somebody trying to get out into the uh, traffic from one of the stores and pulled right out in front of me. Showing the dangers, you know, of uh, being on the motorcycle. Yeah, I was probably pissed or upset or whatever at the time or startled. I ain't like whining and complaining and whatever. I'm just bringing awareness. I mean, people need to be reminded. And yeah, the guy behind me, he wanted, to, he wanted to do a little tailgater party. Hey, they're gonna be back and forth, back and forth, and I'm gonna try to turn left up here, and they're gonna be on my butt. Go ahead, we got you covered. You see me, I'm going that way. Don't run into me. Thank you. And I'll wave at them too, let them know. Thank you for seeing me. I appreciate those things. You gotta let people know, man, that you're a happy writer and you appreciate them and they'll uh, get a different opinion about uh, bikes or bikers or whatever we're called. But if you're being a nuisance and destructive, then you know. Ah, these gloves just don't work after a while. Yeah, we got the weekend warrior in. Thank you, Harley Davidson. We love you, man. There. Can't knock off my, my mount on the R1. How we doing?